What's up friends and family, Mr. Flip Flop. So I'm forced to do this video right now because the reality is my phone won't stop blowing up. The comments are going crazy, but I've got to speak up on, on my behalf. And this is actually the final video I'm going to make about this. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into this anymore because I think it's kind of getting stupid now. Uh, I think the media controls a lot of us. And if you guys don't see that there is some type of campaign going on against DR at the moment, then you're all blind. Now, first let's go into the order of things, which I spoke in another video, but I'm going to talk about it again in this order of, of things that have happened, incidents. And then I'm going to give you guys some explanations and some facts that, that the media is not telling you, that people aren't telling you. So I don't really watch TV, but I'm, I'm well informed on certain things. And the, Google actually works if you look it up, you know, and get the real stories on things that are really going on. So previously we had killing of Haitians and blacks. That wasn't true. Now that went away. Now we have the resort deaths, which just so you guys realize, it's three deaths at a resort that are an actual mystery. The other deaths, I'll go into that in a minute, but those three deaths are the mystery and everybody else that dies now is becoming a mystery. And I'm not doing these videos anymore because one, out of respect for the families and two, out of respect for the dead. But I do have some facts that need to come out. Um, and as I said, the black couple got in an accident. Everybody says that looks fishy. It was an accident. Same place, 12 or 20 accidents happened in the same exact location. All right. Uh, then David Ortiz gets shot. Holy crap. That, that was another black guy for the Dominican Republic, even though if you look up David Ortiz history, he has a shady history in the States and in America. And uh, I forgot who reported it, but the story came out that he was going to get shot if he was in America anyway. So it, ha it happened to happen in DR, which is getting a bad, bad rap right now. But <clears throat> the source said that if he was in America at the time, the guys were going to find him there and shoot him in America anyway. And then recently, last week, a young lady from the States died drowning from a riptide. Now, are we going to blame Dominicans for riptides? I mean, Dominicans are just getting blamed for everything. So then someone goes, hey, Greg, why are you such a champion protecting Dominicans and protecting Dominican Republic? No, I'm not a champion for that. What I'm protecting is logic and common sense. What I'm protecting is every time a story is posted repeatedly, the same story at that, it looks like there's millions of people dying down here. Okay? I saw one person on a Facebook group post the same exact death from four different news sources. So it looked like four different people died when if you look at the story, it was the same person he was posting, but from four different news stories. So every time a story comes out, it's a mystery. I think not. <clears throat> so, as I said, the couple that died and the woman that died five days prior to them in the same resort in Punta Cana, that is a mystery. That is the mystery deaths that people are saying, well, Three people in one week died under, under weird circumstances. That's the mystery. These other deaths is not a mystery, but you guys and the media is making every single death in this country a mystery. Last time I checked, only vampires and X-Men don't die. We're all mortal. We all die. And I'm going to throw some numbers at you about death. Now, I've, I, I investigated this stuff because, like I said, I don't believe the media. I don't believe... Uh, text messages and, and Facebook groups. I investigate this stuff myself because I like facts and I like logic and I like common sense. <clears throat> the ages of the dead tourists. Let's go over the ages of the dead tourists. 53, 51, 67, 63, 49, 72, 78, and 55. But there's a mystery going on. Now, let me give you the ages of my brother and my friends who died in the last 12 months in the United States. 41, 36, 39, 40. In the United States. These are personal friends of mine and my brother who died in the last 12 months. Not killed, no mystery, they died of, of bad health, okay? And the people who have died here are older. As I said, with all respect to the families, I'm just giving facts so we can stop the camp, the hate campaign 
or the or the Dominicans are killing people campaign that is going on. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you another. I don't deal with conspiracy theories in politics, but if you you guys can't see there's some type of campaign, it was brought to my attention. Uh, another reason this campaign may be going on, and I'll speak about it. I don't really get into it too much, but I'll go into that real quick. So as I said, these are the deaths that happen. These are the ages that happen. Life expectancy in America is 77 and going down every year. I mean, I'm not seeing 20-year-olds dying. I'm not seeing 30-year-olds dying. But as I said, with respect to the families and respect to everybody who's, who's died, I don't know a 20 or 30 year old over 300 to 400 pounds that is healthy, let alone a 50 to 60 year old that is over 300 pounds. I, I don't know one healthy person over 300 pounds. Not saying all of them were, but a few of them were. Now, where was that, that lady's name? I've got to remember that lady's name. Uh, okay, Barbara Cochran, the TV star whose brother died. She came forward and said her brother went to Dominican Republic all the time. His death is not a mystery. He had heart problems. She came out and said this. She said Dominican Republic did nothing to my brother. He died of natural causes. He was always in Dominican Republic. He just happened to die in Dominican Republic of heart failure. Now, the fake liquor story. I will say this. I've had experience with fake liquor in America and in the Dominican Republic. Um, not a shameless plug, but a flip-flop. We do not play fake liquor. I've had businesses where people tried to sell me the fake liquor. Um, I personally did not buy it because, one, I don't buy stolen goods. I, th I thought sometimes it was stolen. Um, and two, I don't trust anybody but the distributor. Now, I have come across fake liquor in this country, and I tell people it's, it's kind of rampant. You know, most businesses will not touch fake liquor out of fear that their customers will find out they serve fake liquor. But some businesses, and I will say there are some tourist businesses that go around the back and buy the fake boxes of liquor, save a couple dollars, figuring that when you're drunk, you won't really notice. Okay, so I will say that is true. Now the video of the lady with the Ciroc bottle, that was not Dominican Republic. Someone took that video and just wrote Dominican Republic on it, and that's not, that definitely wasn't Dominican Republic. And any idiot, that drinks coconut Ciroc when it looks yellow in the bottle, you definitely don't know your liquor and you shouldn't be drinking Ciroc. Coconut Ciroc is not yellow. That, that liquor in that bottle was yellow. But that was not the Dominican Republic. Someone just tagged Dominican Republic on it and all of a sudden the fear mongering is going even further. So like I said, the three deaths in the one resort, that is a mystery. The other deaths is not a mystery. You guys are stockpiling all these deaths and all these deaths saying tourists are dying. Tourists die everywhere. And there's going to be a chart in the end of this video about how many tourists have died in all these different tourist locations. DR is actually not that high. But it's a campaign going on. Now, um, there was one thing I left out here. As I said, I wrote this stuff down because my phone's going crazy. And I'm like, come on, guys. Um, like I said, most of these people were older. Um... Some not in the greatest of health, some may be healthy, but as I gave you the numbers of my friends, my personal friends and my brother who died, younger than those ages that all, all died in Dominican Republic. Is there a conspiracy in New York now, conspiracy in Atlanta where my people died at, at, a young, at young ages? I mean, come on, people die every day. There's no conspiracy down here. The Dominicans are not killing people. They're not poisoning people. The one thing that needs to be investigated that I feel is the, the biggest thing that started all this are the three people that died in that resort. That is kind of weird for three people to die in one week. That has to be investigated. All these other deaths and people getting sick is just stockpiling on, stockpiling on, and going with the fear mongering. But for me, I don't fall for it. I don't believe the media. I investigate myself. I look at things in, from a different angle. You know, so that's my point of view on this. As I said, I won't speak on this anymore. I will say this, what was brought to my attention. And hopefully I don't get cyanide poison in the morning from this because this is supposed to be a conspiracy. So Dominican Republic now has a pact with China. A few months back, or I think beginning of last year, China was upset at America over these trade wars. You can Google that upset with America 
because America put a level two travel advisory to China, telling United States citizens not to go to China. China, in turn, put a travel advisory to its citizens for the U.S., saying the U.S. is dangerous and they should go to Dominican Republic. Now, Dominican Republic is becoming one of the most dangerous places on earth. From this point on, you will not hear anything more from me about it. I gave you my opinion. I gave you the conspiracy theory. I don't know if it's true or not. I, I honestly don't care. I just know that if you don't open your eyes and see that there's a campaign that every single time someone dies, it's a mystery. Um, it's amazing. I have spoken to friends and family of certain people that have died, and they themselves do not view it as a mystery. Like I said, I have respect for them. I won't speak on it, but they said they just weren't given enough information by the authorities. But they don't view it as a mystery, okay? So all my videos from this point on will be the good stuff, the good life, adventures. The next video will be coming out in a couple of hours. But as I said, guys, there's no conspiracy down here. I mean, if you look at the facts, instead of just reading the title and saying, oh, they're dying, they're, people are dying, they're killing us, they're killing us, co let common sense prevail a little bit, okay? And I'm going to a resort just for you guys. I've never been to a resort in Dominican Republic, but now I'm going to go. And... Hopefully I won't die. That's sarcasm for you. You guys, love you guys. Love, appreciate the love. Like, subscribe, share, comment. As you see, I respond to all my comments. Um, some good, some bad. You know, I'm, I can be an asshole sometimes, but I got to be factual. I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you the facts. A lot of people go, oh, man, you got your business, man. Listen, I wouldn't be me if I don't tell the facts. I wouldn't be me if I don't speak my mind. My mouth, I go off. I speak. I say what I feel. I say what I think. I'm not going to hide behind something. I'm not going to lower myself and demean myself or my pride to sit there and, and conform to what people want to hear. I'm going to tell you like it is. So, once again, appreciate you guys. Last video on this. If you change your plans to Dominican Republic, enjoy the, your next destination. I myself will be loving it down here, living my life with freedom and peace. Be safe. Safe. I'm safe. I feel safe. You feel safe, homie? I feel real safe. I'm home. You no, know, we out here. Dominican Republic, food spa, all that. We out here. I ain't even worried. You worried? Not at all. It's your birthday, too. I don't want you to die on your birthday. birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> and if I die, bury me inside the Louis store. <laughs> Man, we out here having a good old time. We black and we didn't die yet. Not at all. They said I look Dominican. He look Dominican, I don't know. He got Henny, I got Grey Goose. I don't know. We out here though.